So you've probably often heard people say green tea is acidic, but is this really true? In this video, we're gonna find out. We're gonna be uncovering the secrets of the acid in green tea to find out whether green tea is acidic or alkaline. We'll also talk about if green tea is good for acid reflux and how you can change the green tea acid content. Let's get started. So right off the bat, let's just answer the question, is green tea acidic? Green tea is considered to be mildly acidic, meaning it's more acidic than water, but less acidic than other things you might drink, like coffee or red wine. While the acid in green tea can vary based on a number of different factors, it generally has a pH of between 6.5 and 7.5. Let's talk about what that means. The pH scale is like a special ruler for tastes. It goes from 0 to 14. 7 is right in the middle and it's neutral, like water. Less than 7 will be sour or acidic, such as lemons. More than 7 is bitter or alkaline, like baking soda. Scientists use this pH scale to understand how strong acids and bases are. Of course, using taste is an oversimplification of the pH scale, but when it comes to measuring things like coffee, wine, or green tea, it's actually a good way to think about it. You'll notice that green tea can vary between slightly acidic and slightly basic, which is why it has a balance of these bitter and slightly sour flavors. If you're looking for the least acidic green tea, here are three of our favorites. First, we have bancha. Bancha is a Japanese green tea made from older tea leaves. It's known for its mild flavor and lower caffeine content, which can make it less likely to trigger acid reflux symptoms. Hojicha is another Japanese green tea, but it's unique in that the tea leaves are roasted. Roasting reduces the tea's caffeine content and may contribute to a milder, less acidic flavor. Finally, we have genmaicha. Genmaicha is a blend of green tea and roasted brown rice. The rice adds a toasty and somewhat nutty flavor, which can make it gentler on the stomach. It's often considered a more soothing option. So what impacts the acid in green tea? Let's briefly go through four different variables that can impact whether a green tea is acidic or not. First, we have the brewing time and temperature. The brewing process plays a crucial role in determining the pH of your tea. Longer brewing times and higher water temperature can lead to the release of more acidic compounds, such as tannins and polyphenols making the tea taste more astringent and potentially more acidic. Shorter brewing times and lower temperatures can yield milder, less acidic cups of tea. Next, let's talk about the water source and quality. The source and quality of water you use to brew your tea can influence its acidity. Water with a high mineral content, such as hard water, can make the tea taste more alkaline. Softer water may yield a milder, potentially more acidic taste. Using purified or filtered water can help control the water's mineral content and maintain a consistent tea flavor. This is what we recommend. What about the tea itself? The age and quality of the tea leaves can impact their acidity. Fresh, high quality tea leaves can have a brighter and more complex flavor profile, which includes a balance of acidity and sweetness. If the tea leaves are aged or if they're of lower quality, they may produce a less balanced and potentially more acidic taste. Ingredients added into the tea, such as lemon, milk, or sweeteners, can significantly alter its acidity. Lemon juice, for example, is acidic, and this can lower the pH of the tea, making it taste more tart. Milk, on the other hand, can slightly increase the pH and reduce the perceived acidity. Sweeteners like sugar or honey can add sweetness to counterbalance the acidity, affecting the overall taste of the tea. If you've been watching our videos, you know that we don't recommend adding anything to your tea because it can interfere with the subtle nuances of the taste. So is green tea alkaline or acidic? The answer is both. Certain teas can be slightly alkaline and certain teas can be slightly acidic. The important thing to remember is that it's very close to neutral, meaning it won't impact your pH balance too much either way. So we've talked about why green tea is alkaline or acidic, but we haven't discussed whether or not it can worsen the symptoms of acid reflux. It is generally considered to be one of the safer beverages when it comes to acid reflux, but there are a couple of things you'll want to look out for. The first is caffeine. Tea contains a moderate amount of caffeine, which can actually relax the muscles that help keep stomach acid out of the esophagus. This can worsen the symptoms of acid reflux. Tannins are also present in teas, which can cause certain people to produce more stomach acid. The good news is that green tea is actually much lower in tannins than black tea. So if you're already drinking coffee or black tea, switching these drinks out for green tea may actually lead to an improvement in your symptoms. So is green tea acidic? Technically yes, but you really have nothing to worry about. As long as you drink green tea in moderation and on a full stomach, you shouldn't have any issues. Green tea is less acidic than other drinks you might be enjoying, like coffee or red wine. So if anything, it's a benefit. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions about green tea, please leave those in the comments below. But until then, we'll see you next time.